<laughs> no. I hope not. The ideological foundation of a hipster is to avoid the mainstream, but in recent years they have actually become mainstream, as popular if not more popular than scene kids. Remember scene kids? First off, what is a hipster? Generally someone between their teens and their 30s who values independent thinking, art and indie rock and intelligence, tight-fitting jeans, old school sneakers, thick-rimmed glasses, even though a lot of the times they don't need them. They often wear vintage thrift store fashions and they poke fun at mainstream consumers for wearing labels. Hipsters will claim to know a lot about obscure music and movies and literature, but in my experience they just Google a lot of Kurt Vonnegut and French New Wave cinema. They walk around with the masses, but they don't think of themselves as part of the masses and they kind of shun anything that the mainstream enjoys. But there are tons of how to be hipster videos on YouTube and I'm not gonna bore you. How many hipsters does it take to screw in a light bulb? What, you don't know? I was in Chicago a couple months ago and boy are there a lot of hipsters in Chicago. A lot. I saw three men at three separate times scruffy beard sailor tattoo on their shoulder. A sailor tattoo. You know, the anchor with the r A sailor tattoo. Getting a tattoo is not going to make you a sailor. Someone whose fear of being labeled a conformist and whose obsession is to be different closely parallels the fear of being labeled different and obsession with being mainstream of the person whom the hipster despises. A hipster will hear that, realize that it's true, and love it because it's ironic. A hipster does not know that they're a hipster. If you ask a hipster if they're a hipster, they're going to say no. And if they say yes, then they're not really a hipster. The only surefire way to tell if you're talking to a hipster is to ask them, are you a hipster? They will answer no and then turn their cassette player back on. You are dealing with a hipster. Now, in all honesty, I have no problem with hipsters. But no one enjoys wearing a scarf in the summer. No one. Hipsters do not like to be mainstream. They prefer things that are ironic by mainstream standards. But it's clear that a lot of hipster tendencies have actually become mainstream. The scruffy beard, the scarf, the bad sailor tattoos. Hey, do you uh, have any PBR? No, we can get you some if you really want it. Can you take a picture of me on Instagram while I drink it? What? No. Wearing ugly Christmas sweaters in October and drinking PBR because it tastes good is not a cool thing to do, yet so many people do it. Thick rim glasses on a Mac with a scarf at Starbucks. Everybody has seen that guy multiple times. I'm getting a little ranty. I just need to calm myself down. Historically, the hipster subculture has had a pulse since like the 1940s, but it's just recently becoming like this gigantic surge, and I think the internet is to blame. With increased availability of music, movies, literature, knowledge, it's become a lot easier for someone to just open up their computer, it's just readily available, just type it into Google. Whereas it used to be really exclusive information. It used to be that to listen to something new and artsy, you had to go to like the next town over or go to a cafe or something like that. Now you just open up Tumblr or go on StumbleUpon. And a lot of people hate hipsters. But if you hate hipsters and hipsters are becoming more mainstream, are you turning into a hipster? Yeah, that just happened. But with so many people having a sour taste about hipsters, how do we differentiate between what's cool and what's hipster? In my opinion, I don't think that there should be a line. I like all sorts of different stuff, and I really don't like to be fit into a box. I mean, I'm definitely in the nerd box, and I think all of you would agree. I don't claim to have liked something first, and I don't try to avoid what the majority of people like, because sometimes I like it too. And in the same vein, I don't think that we should avoid strange but good music, books, movies, television shows for fear of looking like a hipster. Because if we try to be cool, we're just going to end up missing out. Like I said before, hipster culture has been around since before the 1940s, but where do you think hipsterdom is going? What do you think is going to happen after being hipster becomes too mainstream? Do you think that there's going to be another subculture? What comes after hipsters? If you liked this video, you should thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, you still should, ironically. What comes after hipsters? Legsters, duh. Bad joke, bad joke. Bad isn't awesome though, right? No. Ah, well, I meant it ironically, right? <laughs>